So what I've done at this point is that I've used my rulers and I've, with my ch chalkener, I've decided what angle and what curve I want in the sweatshirt to make it not be so bulky underneath the arm as, so as to look like a sweatshirt. So I've done it on the other side. Now I cut it off and I've taken this now to use it as a template and I'm going to just pin it on here onto the other side. You have to flip it so it's a mirror image. And this doesn't have to be real exact. It's okay. Nothing I do is real exact. As my husband can tell you. Alright, so then I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to carefully cut right along the same place. So once I do this, then if I just seam with, with the same seam allowance that I left on the other side, I'm ready to go. All right, so I'm going to serge this off, not that I have to because it's a knit and it's not going to ravel, but rather because it's finished off on the inside to begin with and I just feel like I want my things finished off on the inside. This is an inside curve and if that is not clipped, it's going to really pucker. So I'm going to take my nice sharp Kai scissors and clip right into the stitching, of course not through the stitching but into it, and then I'm going to serge. I've learned after killing a couple of loopers on sergers, cutting all of this sweatshirting off over and over and over again, that I'm better off to have trimmed it basically to start with and then just skin the edge when I'm finishing it. So here when we get to this part, I'm not going to leave it like this, I'm going to stretch it out so that it's actually surged spread. 